Okay, so if you actually know basic math, well, this will be a very easy problem to solve without using a calculator. So let's take a look at the problem. We have 5 times parentheses 1 plus bracket 3 times 9 minus 1 in parentheses divided by 3 bracket and parentheses. Okay, so this is the problem, and again, no calculators. But uh, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is negative 20, B is 15, C is 11, and D is 45. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct uh, solution here is D, which, of course, is 45. All right, now, if you got this right and you did not use a calculator, well, you'd definitely get a happy face and A+. Plus and you'd be like, oh, Mr. U2 Math Man, I know this is easy, but it's been a long time. Well, no big deal. Again, if you haven't done basic math for many years, well, of course, you're going to forget a lot of stuff here. But uh, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get into it right now. All right, so let's get into the problem here. And uh, I'm going to set this up by first just kind of taking an assessment of what's going on, right? So we have a math problem. We want to solve it. And what we have is we have to do these various math operations. So this right here, when we have a number outside of a parenthesis right there, that's multiplication. So we're going to do some multiplication. And then here we obviously have addition. So we're going to have to do some addition. Here I have multiplication again. Here is, of course, subtraction. And then we have division. So I have to deal with um, all these various math operations. Okay, These are called mathematical operators, uh, multiplication, addition, uh, subtraction, and division. So here's the thing. Depending on the order, okay, the, uh, in terms of how I do this problem, what order I do it, I can come up with all sorts of various numbers as my final answer. Matter of fact, some of you actually came up with different numbers other than 45 because you probably took um, a different order. Okay, there's only one specific order to do these operations, um, you know, to get the actual correct answer. And that order is called the order of operations, right? Just like a genius title, right? Somebody said, hey, you know what? Let's call it the order of operations. And what operations are we talking about? Well, it's not the operations that you get at the hospital. Like, hey, we'll first do a heart surgery, and then we'll, we'll do a hip replacement. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about these operators, right? The order of operations. And uh, we have a nice little thing called, well, these are this is called a mnemonic, right? The PEMDAS. You've probably heard of this. If you haven't heard of this, I can tell you right now, your grandparents probably heard of this. And um, one uh, kind of uh, old school saying that a lot of people remember this by is the following. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I don't know who came up with it, but that's a pretty uh, common little uh, memory device to remember this little acronym, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. So there's a couple of different variations. There are a couple of different acronyms uh, little uh, that are different than this, but this is probably the, the most common. PEMDAS, order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But what does this mean? Well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. Okay, and I'm, I'm explaining this to you because I want to give you an opportunity to apply what I'm going to kind of teach you, just in case you made an error. Okay, so the P stands for parentheses. So you're going to do what's inside parentheses, and that P is what we call grouping symbols. So it's more than just parentheses, it's also brackets. So these brackets right here are what we consider parentheses, okay? Well, they're not parentheses, they're called brackets, but they're technically grouping symbols, and also these little squiggly things like that would classify, um, be classified as well as a grouping symbol. So you're going to do what's in, um, you're going to do parentheses first, but I'm going to explain a little bit more about this in a second. Let's just kind of go through this acronym. E is exponents, but this is like power. It's like 2 to the third power. That little 3 is an exponent, so you can do powers next. Now, M is multiplication, and then D is division. Now, here, this is probably one of the most confused um, things about the order of operations. So many students get these problems incorrect because they confuse 
the M and D and the A and the S. A and S stands for addition and subtraction. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this from left to right. You're going to go from left to right. But here's the deal. With multiplication and division, you're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. Okay. If I see multiplication, uh, let's say I have you know, 10 times 2 divided by uh, 3, for example, here, what do I see first uh, from left to right? I see multiplication first. That's what I'm going to do next. Okay, I'm going to do this uh, right here, and then I'll divide. But what if the problem was reversed? What if I had uh, 10 divided by 2 times 3? So this is where so many students make mistakes. They're like, oh, i got to do multiplication because multiplication comes uh, before division. I have to do M before D. Always, always, always. I'll do this right there. And guess what? They get it totally wrong. Uh, you can see if you did this, you would have... Uh, 2 times 3, this would be 10 divided by 6. That would be that fraction or that decimal. It's totally wrong. Okay, that's not correct. What do we have to do? You have to do this, right? You have to do, uh, this is what you see first from left to right. So 10 divided by 2 is, of course, 5. 5 times 3, the correct answer is 15. All right, so already right now, if you um, weren't quite sure uh, about the order of operations, you're already are going to be well ahead of the average math student because so many students don't understand this as well as they think uh, they do. But anyways, now that I kind of explained this, let's talk a little bit more about the, um, the structure of this problem, uh, particularly with the P. Okay, Remember, P stands for parentheses, but it means grouping symbols. But what that really means is you're going to... Um... Now, before we continue on, I have a quick question for you. Are you enjoying this content? Well, if you are, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. I will definitely uh, appreciate that. Also, if you need additional help in math, check out my math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Also, I'm going to give you uh, some specific recommendations at the end of this video. All right, so let's get back to the problem. Do what's inside the parentheses or brackets, and you're going to work from the inside out, the most inner parentheses, and then you're just going to keep expanding. So you're going to start from here, and you're just going to kind of work out this way, keep working out, keep working out. So here's the deal. I'm going to show you how to do this problem, okay? So with, uh, But I'm not going to do it just yet because I want to give you a chance to uh, get the answer correct is you're saying, okay, P, is, uh, I have parentheses, so what are the most inner parentheses? So i got to do this. Once I'm done with this, now I'm going to keep expanding to the next set of parentheses. I'm going to do this stuff, and then I'll keep expanding out to this, and then finally I'll uh, multiply that by 5. Okay, And along the way, I'm going to be asking myself, do I have this, do I have this, and I'm going to be keeping uh, you know, my um, awareness on these operations, especially from left to right, is particularly multiplication, division, and addition, and subtraction. Okay, so if you think you made an error, and you're like, oh no, I know I made a mistake, go ahead and maybe redo this problem. It's not that difficult to do. Uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so again, now that we understand PEMDAS, sort of operations, I'm looking here, I'm like, okay, I got my parentheses, inner, uh, most parentheses, I'm scanning the problem, so I got to focus on this right here. So 9 minus 1 is 8. Okay, so you notice I'm writing this one step at a time, and that's exactly what you should be doing too. Just take, you know, write one line, one step, and there you go. All right, so now here is my problem. And I'm looking, okay, I have parentheses, but there's nothing to do inside these parentheses. So this is basically done. So this is the same thing as 3 times 8. And now the parentheses I have to work within is this right here. So I have multiplication and division. This time multiplication comes uh, uh, from left to right is first. So I'm going to do 3 times 8, which, of course, is 24. Okay, so again... Just take a step and write one step on your paper. Don't do too many steps uh, at once because that's how you cause confusion and your teacher can't uh, determine whether you know what you're doing or not. All right, so here is my brackets. I still have stuff to do inside these innermost, uh, innermost uh, grouping symbols or parentheses. These are brackets. And uh, the technical difference between 
parentheses and brackets, it really isn't much, okay? Uh, I could have just wrote parentheses, have parentheses within parentheses, but typically we'll write brackets and whatnot just to kind of distinguish um, one from another so you don't get confused. All right, so here we're down to 24 minus 3. 24 minus 3 is 8, okay? So now we have our final parentheses. We got to work on 1 plus 8, of course, is 9, and then we have 5 times 9, this is multiplication right here, a number outside like this, uh, this means multiplication, 5 times 9 is a 45, of course I know all of you know that, and there you go. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.